Welcome back to another episode of Car Addiction. Today we talk about good stuff. Today I show you. It's not my Mark IV Supra. Your boy is not rich enough to buy a Mark IV Supra. So today I show you that. Basically, whatever is happening with the Z. So if this is your first time with my channel, I'm a huge Nissan enthusiast. I got a 3 Tuner that is twin turbo, an R32 Skyline, a Nissan hard body, and I also have a Toyota MR2. And today I'm in my buddy Sass shop where I did a couple of uh, stories and reels, a bunch of Marker Supras. He's working on this uh, 240Z. There is a little British car. I'm not gonna show much about that right now. And a bunch of other stuff of his own. So the list of stuff he's going to do in my car includes taking off the injector. So because I had a dead injector and he just told me I did not have a dead injector. I actually had one of these connections of the injector loose. <sighs> so much hassle for this. So much. But anyway, he took the plenum off. While he took the plenum off, a uh, bunch of stuff he's gonna do. He's gonna need a new plenum gasket, all the o-ring gasket. Huh? Yeah, that's so. <laughs> he's gonna do that. Now, I also had issue with the uh, vacuum. So I can never get uh, a minus 21 vacuum in it. So, and I blame that to either this hose or that hose. This hose does not look good. But it is also a PCB, but yeah. So he's gonna change all of these hoses. So to go through the list is he's gonna switch to these uh, 750cc AUS injection, then change all the hoses, anything he cracked and whatnot, do a pressure test and see how it runs. And the other thing he's gonna do is he's gonna do a compression test of the engine. Just cause we're here, we're gonna do a compression test. New plugs going in there too. Once he's done with that, he's gonna go under it and drop the tranny. So once he drops the tranny, he's gonna put a new clutch. He just told me he needs a new pressure plate. Uh, if he wants it, I'm gonna give it to him. We'll get him a new pressure plate. There's a new master cylinder going in. I did put a new slave cylinder in there, so uh, he's gonna put new O2 sensors and new pivot fork. And there's one piece of clutch line. All of these, all of these hoses are gonna be changed and swapped. There's a clutch line. There's, there's the one piece clutch line that's gonna go in so I should have a pretty good clutch feel because that's what I was missing there right now and then once he's buttons up all of them we're gonna go change all the fluids I actually always had a Jim Wolf uh, ECU handy uh, socketed and chip and I did buy myself a socketed chip with this program to run the car. But that's not how I'm gonna leave it. What I want to do is once this is running and driving and everything is doing perfectly the way it's supposed to do, we're gonna go to Patrick Chan. Uh, he does uh, a lot of Z32 and R32 tuning in Toronto. And then uh, he's gonna do a NIST tune tune on the car with dyno. We can have a better idea of horsepower and that is the proper way of doing it rather than just running off an EROM chip. When we run off an EROM chip, what we're gonna notice is it runs very rich. It will run very rich because the EROM chips are designed that way so you don't have detonation. It run rich. So that's that. I'm happy South started working on it. He's uh, on his way right there. You guys can see. There's a clamp sitting on top of the vaults. I think uh, <laughs> when he was taking this off, it just fell in there, so uh, I don't think it's a big deal, but as long as he remembers to take it off, we should be okay. That's uh, pretty much it, so I'm gonna have to get him a buff cover. I'm, so I'm gonna get him a plenum gasket, and I will get him these O-rings, because uh, they're tatty, and uh, I just don't want any failures later on. I also forgot to mention the significant stuff here that uh, we're gonna go with a dual 
air fuel ratio from innovative because the car is going to be tuned it's super important to understand how your afr is so that way you don't go kaboom and uh, i'm going with this salty salty z1 upper control arms extremely hard to find but anyway i wanted them so that uh, my car sits the the way i wanted it to sit so far it's pretty good but uh, those control arms will make it nice the sap just gave me a bunch of shit for uh, trying to save the pressure plate so i guess i guess i'm just gonna have to buy another clutch kit because he doesn't want to use this so yeah the bill keeps going up sap I don't know if you saw those upper control arms. I didn't see them. Oh. Show me them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, adjustable ones. Oh, nice. Man. You use again? So hard to get, man. New boat? Yeah, just one set of new boat things. Well, there's a second set. But these boat things are just fine. Yeah, these are good. But you gotta do a serious alignment after, eh? I'll oh, measure yeah. as close as I can, but. Oh, yeah. Why are you doing this? You don't mind me asking. Are you, you going to drift this car? No. So when I uh, drop the car, you will notice this side is a little more tucked in than the other side. Okay. So I just want both of them equal. And with the upper control arm right now, you can't do that. Yeah, but why is it equal? Make yourself bent? I have a feeling something is bent. But when you look under it, you put it on a hoist and whatnot. The whole, so this, I'm done this, thing? this has a three degree camber and this has a two degree camber. I want 1.5. Who did the knock sensor on this car? Why is the knock sensor on top of the engine? The previous owner did. Yeah. You want to put it back where it belongs? Yeah, I'm going to take the thing and put it on the engine. Sure. But you put this injectors together, right? Everything is good. You sure nothing's going to leak or anything, bro? Right, you bolted them in, right? I didn't do it. If my concern is seeing this, look, when they did it with all the rest of them. All the rest have double washer, and this only has one. So that makes me think why. Worries me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you need a definite tune when this car is done. ECU in the back? ECU in the back. It has a bench it's tune. Chip? Okay. It has chip bench tune. So. This, uh, this, 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 I don't know what it's called? Uh, no. It has just a tune from CZP. Okay. So that we can start the car, we can move it around, do whatever, before it goes to the tuner. Okay. The tuner will do a nice tune. Okay. Do you have the aftermarket, you have aftermarket boost control on this thing? Yep. The windshield washer nozzles okay. are not there. They're relocated on top of the intercoolers. So what? To spray on top of the intercooler. Why? It cools. It doesn't make that much right? It makes it. It actually does make a lot of difference when I do zip around. Yeah. I I do a couple of squirts. Yeah. The boost hits differently. You yeah. feel it, and then it it dies away because yeah. it it warms up again. So you yeah. gotta squirt it again. When are you working on it again? Today I'm gonna do it today. I want to. Oh. Plug. I just I pulled everything out. I'm gonna work on it today. I wanna put the I wanna put the plugs in before I go today. Okay. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna try to put finished in. Maybe today. I just see how I feel. Do the injectors, everything, get everything done. Crank it, make sure there's no leaks on the injector line or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow, put the plenum on. Okay. Just get rid of all of them. What? The hoses. So you have all of the hoses? They're all in the back in a bag. Oh, in this small bag? Yeah. So what are these for? Don't ignore. <laughs> they were just in the bag. And these are the plugs, yeah? Yeah. And uh, it's going to get a... I have an NA clutch, so the, it's not the twin turbo one. Was this car a factory twin turbo? The, it was a factory twin turbo, but factory automatic. Oh yes, the Nismo tranny mount. It's just a little bit more stronger than the OEM mount, so that's pretty much it. Alright, so as we can see... Whee! Sorry. Well, that's the drive shaft. He just took it off to get more space to drop the tranny. Here is the shifter and that's where is the clutch terrible 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 clutch you see the clutch never got hot enough to actually burn on that sticker hmm something is leaking what's that okay i got a bit of bulk cover issues it's causing the whole thing turbos that leaks that is starting to leak right there. So you know what that means? <laughs> that means this turbo is going to come out. And they don't come out. They'll be replaced. Other than that, yeah, SAP should be done with this in a day or so. And then the car goes to the tuner. So it's been quite a bit of time since I did any update on the car because uh, the car was at Shaft's shop. Uh, he has been busy with a bunch of other stuff going around and he is doing a favor. 
with the whole thing anyway. From here it goes to Zoom Automotive in Scarborough. That's where Nigel is, Nigel's shop. And Nigel is also a mechanic, but he has a dyno and his business partner is the tuner. So they will go to Nigel's shop, get a couple of little things done, and it's the bank. Yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, this is coming. I have been really busy with the family and with the the other side of the business of not being able to upload uh, regularly or as much as I used to do. So please be there, bear with me, hopefully in summertime, things will settle down a little and then I'll be more frequently uploading. So hit the subscribe button at the bell notification. I'll see you in the next one.